All right. Good afternoon and welcome to Digital Payments Revolution brought to you by Business Solution Partners and Bill.com. Today, we're going to talk about how you can cut costs, reduce risk, and turn accounts payable into a data source. We're joined today by Mitchell Yee, Senior Manager of Channel Partnerships for Bill.com, who will lead our presentation. Before we begin, I'd like to take a few minutes to go over some housekeeping notes. This webinar is brought to you by Business Solution Partners. BSP has a 35-year history of providing high-level financial and operational consulting and technology-based solutions to mid-market and enterprise companies in all 50 states. We are a five-star Oracle NetSuite solution provider partner, a Workday Gold partner, a HubSpot Gold partner, and represent a wide variety of software and process solutions supported by training to ensure that your company succeeds in a modern business environment. We're a global software consultancy with a local presence in your backyard. From our humble beginnings with a single office in New York, we've expanded our footprint across the US to include four offices in California, as well as offices in eight other states, including Florida, Nevada, and Virginia. We're moving business forward with a tech stack designed for growth. Our certified consultants and professional service providers support mid-market and enterprise companies with software strategies, implementations, integrations, custom development, training, and support. We work with Oracle NetSuite in conjunction with Workday Adaptive Planning and HubSpot to help companies transform their approach to market. And every other SaaS product that we represent, like Bill.com, plays well in the sandbox with NetSuite, so we can support our NetSuite customers with out-of-the-box solutions designed to fit their scaling needs. Today's webinar is eligible for CPE credit, and we have several attendees who registered as CPAs to receive credit today. To comply with the NASBA's rules for credit delivery, we will have several polling questions interdispersed throughout today's presentation. If you are a CPA, please be sure to vote in these polls and watch attentively for the entire presentation to be eligible to receive your course certificate. We must perform an audit of polling and attendance data before we're able to deliver those CPE credits, so it may take between one and two weeks to receive your follow-up email with your course certificate attached. And please note, CPE credit delivery is only available during our live events. No credit will be offered to viewers of our recordings. And speaking of recordings, we here at BSP love sharing educational and informative content with our growing audience. Our YouTube channel has grown to over 2,300 subscribers and has logged over 27,000 watch hours of time. Be sure to check out our Exploring NetSuite series for short format NetSuite tutorials our NetSuite masterclasses for deep dives into important NetSuite topics, and of course our webinars, like today's recording, which will be published to our channel in the very near future. And if you want to keep up to date on all the latest happenings, head on over to our LinkedIn page, where you will find news, events, blog posts, and a lot more. And we've made it really easy to engage with our social channels. Just type in www.bspny front slash YouTube or front slash LinkedIn, and you'll be taken directly to our social pages. Uh, remember, a copy of today's webinar will be made available on YouTube after we've had a chance to review and edit it. My name is Craig Cook. I am the Chief Marketing Officer for Business Solution Partners, and our thought leader today is Build.com's Senior Manager of Channel Partnerships, Mitchell Yee. I'd also like to thank Carol Amos of Build.com and Brian Flynn of Business Solution Partners for all of your support in organizing today's event. On behalf of the entire team assembled here today, welcome. Our webinar audience is set to listen only mode, but by now I think you're all familiar with Zoom. If you've got a burning question about anything in today's presentation, please feel free to type your query into the Q&A interface. We will also have some time at the end of our presentation today for an open Q&A session. If you would like to raise your hand with a question, we can turn on your microphone and camera for a chance to interact with today's speaker and panelists. Finally, all of today's attendees will receive a follow-up email within a few days that delivers a recorded copy of our broadcast and a downloadable presentation deck. All right, we are ready to get started. It is my sincere pleasure to introduce Mitchell Yi. Mitchell has tremendous experience in the SaaS fintech world, amassing a wealth of knowledge in his over 15-year career. Consistently a top sales performer for Build.com, Mitchell truly understands the customer need and can clearly communicate the value that Build.com's platform affords its users. Mitchell, I think our audience is ready to dive into the topic of the day, so I'm going to pass screen control over to you. Let's get started. Thank you, Craig. Really appreciate it. Appreciate the introduction and really appreciate the partnership today as well with Business Solution Partners. And today we're really going to dive into digital payments revolution. Being able to cut costs, 
reduce risk, and turn AP into a data source. I'm Mitchell Yee, Senior Manager of Channel Partnerships, and I'm happy to be here presenting to you today. We're just gonna cover a few things over the next hour, and I'm gonna have a couple poll questions for you as well. These poll questions will be great to help keep you engaged and help understand a little bit about your business as well for transforming your business to digital payments. In today's finance world, people are looking for efficiencies. The past year has upended priorities all over the place. The focus is in the finance function quickly moved to having better information faster so that you can manage the business depending on the current conditions. So really to, trying to focus on the information, getting it now versus later, really automating that. A place of, to gain efficiency is by using technology. So we wanna use technology to boost productivity and streamline processes by automating manual repetitive work. Supply insight for better and faster decisions by integrating a financial tech stack, gaining real-time reporting and insights. Streamlining process and gaining real-time visibility into the cash flows lets finance teams focus resources on their core mission. When thinking about places to gain efficiency, people often overlook an area where you can reduce risk and save money, and that is your payments process. Let's discuss a little bit about how you're making payments currently today. Here's a poll question that I will leave up here for a little bit, about 30 to 45 seconds here. Please fill in how you are, what type of payments you're making today. We have checks, ACH, credit card, international wire, cryptocurrency, and others. Most businesses today are making payments by check, slowly making that transition to ACH. All right, we're gonna move on to the types of payments. There's many different types of B2B payments. First, we're gonna focus on the types of payments as ACH. ACH payments are digital payments. They're made through an automated clearinghouse, a secure bank system for bank-to-bank -bank transfers. A typical ACH transfer takes anywhere from a few hours to a few days. These transactions have, don't, don't happen in real time, but they are fast and involve less manual labor than paper checks and incur low fees to the receiver than credit cards. Next, we'll take a look at credit cards. Credit cards is used in B2B payments, uh, primarily with travel and entertainment, fleets, P cards, operate the same way as B2C card payments. They provide one of the fastest payment options, but they are one of the most expensive options for the receiver. Then we have virtual card. Virtual card is a 16 digit one-time use credit card token that functions as a proxy for a physical credit card. With a perpetual number, virtual cards offer a layer of protection and security. They also have very fast payment timing as well. And because the card is a number token can be used only once and they specifically for the amount of that payment and have an expiration date, they add that extra level of security but they can also be very expensive to the receiver. And now we look at paper checks. Paper checks is primarily used by businesses today. And most businesses are very familiar with this form of B2B payment. And what they may, may overlook is just the downside of checks. Think of the labor involved with reviewing, approving a bill, cutting a paper check, stuffing it in an envelope, getting it signed, having it manually uh, reviewed with that paper bill, takes hours of time. Making sure it's correct, making sure it matches, double checking. It takes companies weeks or sometimes even months to actually process a paper check. And the securities of the checks is very low. Checks are easily easy to steal, forge, or lose. Every time a paper check leaves your company, it exposes your business, uh, business's valuable bank account and routing number. That's all the information someone needs to steal money from the company. Next, we'll take a look at bank wires. Bank wires is a form of a VFT, electronic funds transfer. 
which is just what it sounds like, transferring funds electronically from one bank to another without paper money changing hands. The next is cryptocurrency. Cryptocurrency is, is an emerging payment, but it's not used widely yet and not supported by our banking systems. These payments are all the different types of payments that we see. Now, there may be other some payments out there, but these are the very common ones. Typically, payment, payments um, really for B2B is focused on check. Paper checks remain the dominant form of payment across markets, even through creating them, even though creating them is very inefficient and generates high overhead cost. And the checks are risky. Fraud check, check fraud happens all the time, and it's the biggest risk out there. Overall, nearly 60% of B2B payments in North America are still made with paper checks. Checks account for up to 80% of small to medium-sized business payments. On the other side of that, digital payment forms, including ACH and credit card, account for only 36% of B2B payments today. So there's a large gap in there that really could be made up in transforming your payments to digital. Faster payment timing, less cost, and overall more secure. We'll transition into another poll question here. How much do you think it costs on average for your business to process an invoice? We'll give about another 30 seconds to 45 seconds here. And a couple of the answers are less than a dollar, in between a dollar and Four ninety nine, between five dollars and nine ninety nine, between ten dollars and twenty dollars, or over twenty dollars. So, if you think about the time and what type of payments you're making, how much do you think it is on average really costing to process an invoice and make that payment to that vendor? All right, thank you for filling out those poll questions. Now we're gonna take a look at the cost of payments. The payments are actually costing more than you think. Here's the typical cost breaking out, break out of making business payments to keep in mind that 60% of these payments are made by check. I mentioned that creating checks is so inefficient that they generate high overhead cost. And that is reflected here in the mid-sized businesses. Processing an invoice typically costs them more than $16. B2B payments are a huge inefficient market. Rolling these payments processing costs up for the business in North America, American businesses were spending upwards of $510 billion just to make business to business payments. That's a huge number. And the primary reason is that 70% of the businesses are still making B2B payments by paper check. And the average cost to accounting firm to process one invoice is about $22 due to the manual process. The cost is primarily made up of headcount, the time it takes to do it. And of course, the fees related to payment processing and some international payments late fee and late fees. Or return checks, this is all adds up to this $510 billion, which is about the annual revenue of Walmart. Here, we're gonna take a look at some of the types of business payments again. And with just a visualization of, uh, on an easy graph, just to show you know, the timing, speeding uh, of payment, plus the cost of payment. To summarize the types of payments, here's the picture of these payment types, arranged to show cost and speed of each type. While cryptocurrency is very low cost and it's commonly, it's just not commonly used yet. The lowest cost payment types are ACH, credit cards, digital payments. Those typically tend to be fast and low cost. While you see your paper checks and international wires and domestic wires can be a little bit slower, but much more costly. With this, how do you think your company could benefit from digital payments? This is another poll question. Just kind of see where the mindset is at how do you think your company could benefit from digital payments? 
Is it faster payments? Better payment security? Online audit trail? Paperless and touchless? Low risk of theft? Reduce processing cost. Give you some time here to, to answer those poll questions. All right. And we are going to move on and we're going to discuss reducing your cost by solving payment challenges. Updating your payment process to a digital payment provides a pretty big opportunity to reduce cost and times and save time. The first thing you'll do is save money by reducing the effort spent on making payments. Next, you'll save time on digital payments can solve time consuming B2B payment problems, then you need to spend more time on your business, getting back to your core mission. No more late nights getting vendors paid, fee, fees for paying let them late or matching paper invoices to payments. No more working late on a Friday instead of being with the family. You'll be able to eliminate all of those manual processes by going digital and using automation. And there's a way to save time and money and prove even more valuable to your organization. By also streamlining your entire AP process, this is the most important and most valuable solution, helping you gain new insight. Why do we say that? Well, let's look at a typical AP process. A typical AP process is very inefficient, manual and costly. The reality of the AP process, if you haven't automated, AP is one of the most, one of those processes that quickly takes more and more time and effort. Most people don't notice that it has become time consuming and is tedious, manual and error prone until there's a sudden change in personnel or a sudden change to the business condition like we've had over the last year and a half. When people stop and look closely at what they're doing to pay bills, they find, they're doing a lot of manual review and data, data entry, sometimes entering the same data in different systems. They're handling and storing a lot of paper. They have to chase down approvals to get payments approved. They have to log into multiple systems to make payments and manually record transactions for payments. They have to create paper checks, physically get them mailed and manually reconciled with the bank information. They don't have visibility into the payments process. They don't really have enough people for proper separation of duties. And gathering information for audits is super painful. Overall, the manual repetitive AP process is right for automation. And we'll take a look at how we can help automate that. Instead of the manual error prone, messy process AP automation with bill.com solves the pain. We create Efficiency with accounts payable in four simple paperless steps. It starts with receiving a bill and automatically capturing it with IVA, our intelligent virtual assistant. Using an artificial intelligence will help capture data and store that document automatically for you while routing to the next step of approvers. Bill.com streamlines the bill approval process with its customized workflows and automatically go to the right people. And they can do this straight from their mobile phone. Simple, easy user interface, all within the palm of your hands. Next, you can pay with a click of a button. Choose how and when you want to make a payment with one click, whether it's domestic, ACH, international wire, vendor direct virtual card, or for those vendors that need it, a paper check. Yes, you can still send checks through our system, but you don't have to touch them or chase down approvers or mail them, bill.com does that for you. You can also do it right from that mobile application we provide. And reconciliation, the last part of making payments. Payments aren't fully completed until we confirm they've cleared from the bank, but we reconcile them in our accounting software. And so rec reconciliation is easy. Bill.com automatically updates your accounting system. So your team just enters a payment once and they're done. It's fast and accurate, and it keeps your cash balance up to date. You can also see a digital audit trail for every invoice and complete payment history for all vendors. This is a paperless utopia. 
that can help you save up to 50% or more time by eliminating the manual work associated with processing paper invoices and checks, getting approvals and recording payments in your accounting system. When we look at AP automation and we look at the traditional form of focused on history and manual work, and we're gonna help transform it to forward-looking and agile, we're now gonna just take a look at some of these things here. And we're gonna take this from a manual repetitive process that involves a lot of paper and automated paper and a lot of ma manual work. And we're gonna automate this to fast and automate it, saving time and money. From touching, scanning and storing paper, we're gonna transform this to paperless in the cloud, make it easy to find documents and answer questions. From chasing down approvers and transform it to mobile audit trails and reminders. From sending checks, getting missigned, stuffing envelopes and mailing them to, we're gonna transform that to a simple click to make the payments. And from a manual reconciliation, shuffling and sorting through papers, looking for the documents you need, we're gonna transform that to automatically syncing with your accounting system. And bill.com is a market leader. We are a trusted leader in AP automation. We have thousands of customers using bill.com with NetSuite today. Getting set up is easy, it's fast, you're set up in days, not weeks. With over 109,000 customers, today utilizing bill.com and sending and receiving over $113 billion annually. We are a proven solution, but don't take our word for it. Here's some of our customers' testimonials. And these are just a few of my favorite testimonials from some of our customers. Thumbtack, an online service that matches customers with local professionals, says that Bill.com is at the heart of everything they do. Our end-to-end -end AP automation starts with the capture of invoices, flows through approvals and payments, and provides detailed audit trails that are easy to see. Emerge Diagnostics is delivering a new way to determine the location and age of soft tissue injuries. With an automated AP process that is easy to use, our customers can grow without needing to add AP personnel. They can spend new resources in other areas in the finance team to help with the growth of the business. Merchant eSolution offers global payment solutions for scaled channels, including e-commerce, mail orders, and scheduled payments. At a glance, dashboard lets our customers very quick, quickly keep on top of the status of their payments. And it lets them resolve any payment questions very quickly and easily. Quicken is the best-selling personal finance software in the US. Unlike other systems, Bill.com is integrated with NetSuite very quickly and easily. Most customers are up and running within a couple of days. And here's another poll question. What is the biggest benefit your company would get by automating your AP system? We'll leave this up here for another 30 seconds. But think about some of the benefits that you could get. Spend less time on AP, go paperless, get more insight into payables, make approvals easier, manage AP from my mobile phone. All right, we'll go right into our great slide of all the different companies that utilize bill.com today. I like to call this our little NASCAR logo. These are just a few of the customers that we work with, a wide range of companies, including not-for-profits, technologies, retailers, restaurants, and others. 
Now I'll show you how easy it is to use Bo.com. We're gonna go straight right into a product demo here, giving you some visibility into how easy it is to use. It starts all right here. The magic begins with the intelligent virtual assistant. Our artificial intelligence starts here, boosting productivity by eliminating the manual work of scanning in invoices and streamlining the process by starting the bill for you. There are three easy ways to get bills into the system. You can have the vendors directly email the documents right in here. And with, within five to 15 seconds, the bill will be read and scanned. You can drag and drop them. You can upload them. You can even use our application on the mobile phone and snap a picture. The intelligent virtual assistant, Iva, catches duplicates right away and starts to populate information, eliminating that manual data entry for you. Our intelligent virtual assistant populates the correct vendor information, the invoice number, the PO number, the bill date, the due date, total amount, and learns your GL accounts and dimensions. IVA learns your bills, becomes smarter as you utilize it. IVA will, will learn which approvers to add for specific vendor bills. You set up approval policies by dollar amount. An example, if you have a bill that is equal to or greater than $5,000, it must have our CFO involved on it. And so anytime an individual looks at the bill and confirms that it is over $5,000, if they happen to glance through this and don't put the CFO on there, it will catch and populate a message letting them know that the CFO must be on here because that bill is now violating the, pro uh, the protocols of over $5,000. You can set up either or approvals called group approvals. So if I have a group of approvers on the marketing side that can approve a bill. I have a marketing group and as long as one of those approvers in that group approves it, it will go on to the next step. Approvals is easy. Approvals can be done from anywhere. The desktop, mobile application, it's straightforward and easy. The system can be set up for auto reminders so you don't have to chase them down. Approvers can see invoice numbers, vendor bills, due date, due date, total amount, and the image all in one screen. No more lost emails, piles of paper on desk for multiple clicks to see the GL accounts and images. The mobile application makes it just as simple. With the ability to see an overview of the bills that are needed to be approved, the details of the GL accounts, the dimensions, the image of the bill, and you can leave messaging within our mobile application as well. With over 8,000 internal collaborative messages left daily in bill.com platform, this ensures people are communicating about the bill to make sure they received the items, services were completed, and it's a great way to keep the information moving along. This truly lets you do it from anywhere with our mobile application. Once bills are approved, they can be fully integrated payments. And these fully integrated payments are easy. This overview allows you to see the bills in a high level view and allows you to dive down right into them by clicking on them. It also allows you to see which approvers have how many bills and for how long they've had them. Payments that are due in the next seven days, payments that are past due. It's all right here in your dashboard and you can dive right into it. With Payments, you have the ability to choose who's getting paid, when they're getting paid, and how they're getting paid. Payments are all simple. You don't have to go into different systems. You don't have to log into a bank to do international payments. You don't have to log into a bank to do ACH transfer. You don't have to do a NACHA file upload. All of it is processed through bill.com. One platform to process all payments. They're simple and all bills are ready to be paid that show up in your bills tab. You can sort by approved only bills, all bills, pending approval, and many more options. From one screen, you can pay by check, ACH, international wire, or virtual card. These are all the different types of payments and you're in full control. 
We offer positive pay. So we automatically protect and mask your account and routing number on checks. So you're not susceptible to fraud. We also automatically hide ACH information. So you or the vendor don't have to expose vendor ACH information and potentially expose to risk. We have our money transmitting license in all 50 states, our MTLs. We also are SOC 1 and type 2 compliant. And we have many more compliances to go along with our money movement as we do operate as a money movement company within the 50 states. When you look at this and these payments are made, we talk about the sync and it reconciles back to NetSuite. It'll reconcile back to the journal entry. It'll eliminate that need to do that manual bank reconciliation. Here's a bit of a sync overview slide for you. The sync overview slide is going to just point out how things sync between NetSuite and Bill.com. Many things are two-way sync. It is a fully robust, it supports the multi-entity setup as well, as well, and can be set up in multiple different ways based on how you've configured NetSuite. I'll leave this here for just a moment so you can take this in and we'll talk about the next step here. All right, we're just gonna bring this back into transforming your AP. We talked about this a little, little bit here, but we've talked about the types of payments and the, and the businesses use showing how costly and the risk is in most familiar payment types that paper checks are very expensive. I've shown you the typical AP process work. No one intends that their payment process to be inefficient and expensive. It just happens. Over time, as the company grows and people change roles, I've shown you how you can streamline your payment process with bill.com, making it easy and effective. With AP process running smooth, smoothly and easy, autom easy automated and paperless, you'll gain something that our customers love. You'll be able to spend time on your core mission instead of chasing down checks and approvers. We'd love for you to take a look at bill.com. Contact me to get a custom demo today. And I got one last poll question for you here before I provide my contact information. And this poll question here is, what's important when you're buying a software tool? What's important when you're buying a software tool. Security of the solution syncs with your existing tools. Peers recommend it. Fast and easy integration, price. Go into the next one here. Just want to understand if you are interested in learning more about bill.com. We're happy to have a discussion with you on how we can help streamline the process. While you're answering this, it looks like there's just a, a couple questions that have come through. I'll save just for the next slide here and I'll get to those in just a moment. For any questions, please do feel free to reach out to myself, Mitchell Yee, Senior Manager Channel Partnerships at bill.com, or please do reach out to your trusted advisor, Business Solution Partners. They also are very versed at bill.com and can help you get in contact with us. Uh, but utilize them as your trusted advisor. We will also uh, bring them into the conversation uh, as we want to make sure uh, everything is compatible and we want to make sure that Oracle NetSuite and Bill.com can be harmonious together. Uh, we'd love to have business solution partners along for that ride of that conversation. All right, Mitchell, thanks so much. I am going to share my screen and provide a little more contact information. Yeah, so we've absolutely. got Mitchell's number and his email address here. We've got my number and email address and our associate Brian Flynn, our account executive in charge of uh, the bill.com relationship. Um, so Mitchell, thank you for a great presentation today. Uh, we do have some questions rolling in and I'm going to queue those up for you now. Uh, the first question that we got today on our Q&A is, why would I need to add bill.com to NetSuite? Doesn't NetSuite do this type of stuff that you've been talking about? Sure, absolutely. Uh, happy to answer that for you. Thank you for the question. So NetSuite is great. It's great for 
it's great for the core of function of the back office. It's a great reporting system. It's a great ERP. You can't go wrong with NetSuite. Some of the things that Bill.com brings and enhances to NetSuite is going to be the artificial intelligence coding a bill. In a typical process, someone gets a bill by an email and they got to download that document onto their desktop. They then have to go into NetSuite and they have to record that information and upload that document to that bill for storage and creation. Within bill.com, the, the artificial intelligence is going to enhance that. It's gonna capture that bill automatically so you don't have to download it and upload it. It's going to populate information normally typed in manually into the system. So it's gonna populate your GL account, your invoice number, your PO number. So it'll populate those things and automatically do those things for you, eliminating a lot of time off the front end. And that's just one example of the things bill.com can do to enhance some of this AP processing uh, with NetSuite. Excellent, excellent. Uh, very good answer. And I will uh, agree with everything that you said. You know, NetSuite at its core has a tremendous amount of functionality, but sometimes we want just a little bit more, right? And automating the accounts payable process is really something transformative. Um, and it's not something that comes uh, standard with the NetSuite uh, platform. So we, uh, we at Business Solution Partners highly recommend uh, AP Automation, and Bill.com is one of our best partners in the space. Um, all right, so anybody else have questions about the presentation you saw today or any general questions about accounts payable? Now's the time to locate uh, that Q&A interface. Um, so drop your questions into the Q&A panel, and we're going to try to answer them all in short time. Um, Another question, um, this is about getting up and running. You know, what, what's it like to get up and running? Can you, can you run through that process? And um, I guess a good question that I'll add to that is like, what's your, what's your standard implementation time for something like bill.com? Yeah, absolutely. Thank you for the question. Uh, yeah, so our, our typical our average implementation time is around, is around four to five hours. Uh, and that is I'm split sorry, up did in- Did you say hours? <laughs> <laughs> yes, hours, hours. When we talk about software implementation, Mitch, we, do, we usually don't talk in terms of hours. Sometimes we don't even talk in terms of days. We usually talk in terms of weeks, right? Or, or months even. What, uh, tell that me a little bit true. more about, about four to five hours. Yeah, sure, absolutely. Uh, because you've spent a lot of time setting up your Net, NetSuite software uh, and, and you have it dialed in the way you want, the, the goal is not to change that with Bill.com. The goal is to take what you've done and help make a very specific part of it sim simplified. And so with bill.com, the, the four to five hours is split out into a, a couple different things. Um, and the implementation itself takes typically about two hours. And this will completely sync your accounting software with bill.com, set up all of your users, their appropriate roles, notifications, their permissions, It'll help you add the bank account. So really you'll be up and running on bill.com in about two hours. And then we split out a couple of training times for you, um, which, I, which will focus on specific roles. So there'll be one training for users who need to help create bills or help set up the system or maintain the users. That will be one training that's usually about an hour. And then there's typically another about half hour to an hour training for just those who have the simplest role, which is approved bills. Uh, and depending on the size of the team, we'll split those out in a different, different task and different training. That's about the time it takes to fully get bill.com up and running. Wow. Uh, that's awesome. You, you, I think you touched on the next question here about training. The question was, do I need training uh, to get my team to use it? And it, it seems like the the training is very, you know, efficient, limited. There's not a lot that you need in terms of skill set to to take advantage of uh, a bill.com, right? That is correct. Um, a, a very typical case that we see is within bill.com because our user interface is very is made to simplify a process. Uh, the user interface is, is very easy to use. Uh, imagine paying a bill on your mobile phone through an app. It's that easy on a computer too and through our mobile, our mobile application. But what we see typically too is, is 
you know, with not-for-profits or those who hire uh, contracted workers, they can typically get them trained internally themselves within an hour's time frame, depending on their, their, their core functionality within the system. So training, even with Bill.com, once you get implemented, you actually probably feel comfortable enough going through that implementation to go ahead and pay a few bills on your own. Get them routed for approval, have someone log in to approve them, and then you know be able to pay them. Uh, so typically, people can use it without training, uh, but we always take them through training just to ensure that they are extremely comfortable with the system. Awesome. Um, Mitchell, thank you so much for your time. We have one or two more questions here. I'm just going to uh, get into this next one. You know, this is a tough one for us in the software business. Everybody always asks the question, what is this going to cost, right? So I'm going to ask you, Mitch, what is it going to cost our users to onboard bill.com? Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, it definitely will vary depending on the size of the, the company. So, you know, I can say uh, a small, you know, a kind of our SMB size, you know, customer with, with maybe 20, 30, 30 people company size company can probably get bill.com up and running, uh, you know, on an annual cost of roughly five to $6,000. And then, you know, a good mid-sized company with anywhere between, you know, say 50 to hundred employees uh, or 300 employees can probably get bill.com up and running, you know, with about $12,000 annual cost. Uh, and then, you know, we do have some more uh, enterprise level size companies with 700, 800,000 employees using bill.com and their cost is a little more, uh, but it really depends on the size of your back office and how many transactions you make. Yeah. So it's a, it's a transactional model uh, and a user license model, or how, how does the, the pricing structure work? G good question. So the pricing structure is set up as a user model and transaction model. And what we mean by transaction is payments. Um, so you'll have a couple different costs for users and their type of access they need in bill.com. And then you'll have another cost to it, which is the type of payments, uh, whether you do a check payment, an ACH payment, virtual card, a wire transfer, uh, there will be those costs as well to it. Um, and the costs that are not mandatory um, is going to be the, the payment cost. So if you don't do payments through bill.com, you just have your user cost. If you do both uh, users and transactions, then you will see both those costs. Excellent. Excellent. Thank you for that explanation. Final question that we've got in our Q&A. Um, and I think I'll, I'll field this one. It says, do I reach out to BSP or do I reach out to bill.com if I'm interested? Well, <clears throat> You can reach out to either one of us. We've got our contact information up on the, the slide here. Um, if you do reach out to bill.com directly, tell them BSP sent you, you know, that, that'll that just help us out a little bit. We do have a partnership with bill.com and uh, we love working with them. So if you do uh, contact Mitchell directly, let him know that you saw the webinar today. Let him know that you saw the recording um, and tell them that you, uh, you came to bill.com from BSP or we are always happy to pick up the phone and talk to you about your AP AR, uh, any FinTech needs that you might have for your business. So you can contact me, Craig Cook. You can contact our account executive, Brian Flynn, um, or you can contact Mitchell directly. Um, that's it for questions, Mitch. I think we're going to move on real quick, a uh, uh, quick uh, click. I said click because I'm going <laughs> to click the next slide, right? We're going to move on real quick. Uh, and uh, that wraps up our Q&A session. I did want to take a minute here to remind our audience to save the date for Wednesday, June 23rd. Uh, we're back with our Q2 2021 NetSuite User Group Virtual Summit, uh, and that features the combined Northern California, Southern California, and New York Metro Area User Groups. Um, but if you're not in one of those areas or you do not, do not belong to one of those user groups, uh, since the onset of COVID, we've been doing virtual events, and we've invited people from all over the world to take part. So uh, we are lining up an impressive roster of speakers and sponsors, and this is an event you're not going to want to miss. Uh, we're also working on a brand new website experience for the NetSuite user groups, which we hope to unveil just before the Q2 meeting. Um, the new website will feature a members-only section where you'll be able to access video, PowerPoints, white papers, and special discounts from our user group sponsors like Bill.com, uh, who have always been very supportive of our user groups in Northern California, Southern California, and the New York metro area. 
Uh, and finally, for those itching to get off of Zoom and get back into those live and in-person events, Sweet World 2021 dates have been announced. And the team at Oracle NetSuite is ready to throw one of the biggest parties of the year. Um, it's usually a blowout event. Uh, I think this year is going to be even crazier because, boy, are we just kind of itching to get out there, network, see each other in person, and have some real live experiences again. Um, this year, it's at the brand new Caesars Forum. It is a, a venue change uh, from years previous. Uh, downtown Las Vegas is always welcomed NetSuite, and we're excited to get back there. Registration's not open yet, so bookmark the web address that I've got here, uh, netsuitesweetworld.com. Uh, and you can even click on this little notify button that they have at the top right. Um, you'll be the first to know when NetSuite begins accepting registrations for the largest gathering of NetSuite users in the world. And uh, I'm excited to see you all there. Um, that's going to wrap it up today. On behalf of the entire uh, team here at BSP and the team at Bill.com, we really want to thank you for your attendance today. Stay tuned to the uh, Business Solution Partners LinkedIn page for upcoming events like the Q1 2021 NetSuite user group. Um, and remember, if you have any needs around accounts payable or accounts receivable automation, please feel free to reach out to me, one of my cohorts, Mitchell O'Brien, and we're more than happy to help you find a solution to help you cut costs, reduce risk, and turn your AP into a data source. All right, until the next time, we'll see you around. Thanks so much.